a tool is a must-have in a machine. So a machine can only be as good as the tool which is making the chips. Welcome to day five of the Daytron Digital Experience. Today it's all about tools. Uh, we've been uh, discussing this throughout the entire week. Uh, and today we're looking more in detail what about the tool technology, what is important to consider. I'm not alone here. Um, here's my, my colleague Marius, just to introduce yourself. Yes, uh, also for me, hello uh, and welcome to the Datron Experience Days. Uh, Max said it, uh, today we are looking um, about our tools, development uh, of the tools, what we got it here on last year and uh, this year. And um, we make um, a small program to show you what is the, the, yeah, the benefits of the tool and um, yes, how does the tool work. Right, so Mario is, uh, has a very high level of competence in the tool technology, so he works at our tool grinding shop in the development of the tools. Um, so this gives us a lot of insights of what's actually going on. So for people who know Datron a little better, most of the tools that we use are single fluid end mills. Uh, those are yeah, not the most common tool in the entire machining market. And if we take a closer look at um, a single fluid cutter, we can look or we can see we got this one fluid. And the special thing about a Datron single fluid cutter is it's balanced. So this is the USP from our side. It has a balanced cut because the technology of single fluid cutters is by nature that it does not have the center of weight in the center of rotation. So there's always an, an unbalance um, which can cause problems in the milling process. That's why we have this, this, this balance cut. And like Mario said it in the yeah. first operation of the of the sample part, if we can get a closer look at this, um, we're going to make this open pocket, and we will we'll use another. It's a it's a new tool, right? So it is, yeah. Um, a stepped single flute cutter. So we got a shank of ten millimeters and a cutting diameter flute of twenty. So this is an extremely um, good tool for um, chip removal for roughing operations. And let's just go over to our machine now and start this first operation. So once more, we're at the M8 cube. We got the tool in the, in the spindle right now. And we're taking quite of a, of a hard and big cut here. So we're going two millimeters depth in a full cut or a 90% step over. We're running the spindle now at 32,000 RPM at a speed of eight meters per minute. So many people ask, what about coolant? What about how do you cool down the tools? We don't see any flood coolant here. Um, the Datron machines always go with minimum quantity coolant and we use alcohol. So it basically hits the fluid. It has a, a temperature drop of about 10 degree, 20 degrees Celsius when it, but when it gets out of the nozzles and then it vaporizes immediately. So it, it's, just, it's just a clean cut. So this is the last operation going on now, just a face milling for the following operations. And then we just take a little break here. Got a tool change. Let's come over to the table again where we can see the next tool that we're gonna use. And Marius is about to tell us something about it. So it is, so the next tool we want to show you um, is um, a combination of um, a normal roughing tool and the single flute uh, end mill. So we want to combine the benefits of these two um, tools and uh, yeah, I want to combine that in this one tool. So we uh, call this the Datron Cross Cutter. And um, this is um, the special one of this is that we have just for the, the, the first step of the tool just a normal uh, single flute end mill. And um, after that, we have um, yeah just a normal roughing tool. So um, the benefit of the tool is uh, just uh, have the balance of the single flute one, 
and also have um, the chip breakers that uh, gives us uh, the chance that we have uh, very small chips. So, um, yeah. Right, the chip volume is something that we're going to look at after we've, um, we've seen it a lot in the machine. Because if you take a close look now, the chips that this tool makes are extremely short. Despite that we use a, um, a dynamic strategy, so um, we're going full, full depth, full flute length. But at the same time, just a very little step over. So we're talking about a five to seven percent step over. And we can see the tools here, they are super short, um, which brings us to um, the chip volume in general, the process stability. Because if you, if you have ever used dynamic strategies like this, you, will, uh, you probably have faced the problem that you have very long chips that are like piling up and, and getting like, like big, like even blocks of, um, of chips. But, and the problem can be that it just gets stuck in the machine so that uh, it interrupts your milling process. And there was another reason for the development of these sort of tools. We have a, um, a nice comparison over, which we're gonna see after the milling operation, about the volume. So it compares the volume of this cutter compared to a straight end mill. Once more, we're going at 38,000 RPM and 9,000 millimeters per minute at a step over of 0 0.5. Yeah, very dynamic cut here. Chips are all dry due to the minimum coolant. So that's just a yeah, like a bit of a like a kidney-shaped pocket. And let's just compare the volume of the chips of the same for the, of the same part. So what we have here is you see in in this glass here we have the the volume of the parts of um, milling down one of these parts with the cross cutter and right beside you see the same volume with a straight standard double flute end mill and we can see if we take out a few of the chips here and get a closer look at how they look let's just put them on the table and let's, let's grab a few of those So I think this, this tells the story. Um, so it has multiple benefits. Process stability due to um, the chip length um, and just a higher balance, um, a better, a better run, run out of the spindle. So yeah, just a great tool for roughing operations. Okay, yeah. um, next thing we're gonna talk about is like kind of micro-machining, um, small tools small features and once more let's just wipe the chips away um, we have these little slots here so the, the, the slot width is two millimeter here um, at a depth of four and it's done with this tool <coughs> so it is, yeah. This is also a single flute end mill, so just a smaller dimension. Uh, we've got here a two millimeter end mill, and um, also the benefit um, of uh, a single flute one, we've got it here. So uh, that is, um, yeah, the big chip channel, so we got the chance to bring out the chips very well by uh, also the small 
uh, diameter of the tool. Yeah, right. That's a pretty essential thing. Um, having a large chip channel because the expansion of an aluminum chip when it's getting cut is quite high and because aluminum is like a soft material so it will melt quite early um, there is always a risk that the chips and the flute get stuck by a melting chip and you have this behavior when you um, have multiple flute like a double triple or quadruple um, end mill especially at these um, at these diameters Um, let's just quickly run this. Just got to assign a new tool here. Maybe Marius can tell us uh, in between yep. in the, uh, something about this feature here of the pockets. Yes, so um, we, uh, uh, this is a, so a part we, we use this tool, so we got it here, some small pockets. Um, so uh, there is uh, mostly the problem that we can't get out the chips, so um, the tool gets uh, a heat, so it is um, also a combination of the tool and the cooling system. Mark said it before, just we have um, um, the we cooling with uh, alcohol and um, that is the point that we have some much problems with um, another um, end mills and um, the best solution for this problem is a single fruit end mill. Right, and now at the machine we can see the two millimeter end mill making these slots. If we can get a closer look, maybe from this view. Yeah, that gives us a pretty good view. So what you can see is we're going down in a constant ramp. So we have a, a ramp in feed per pass of 0 0.8 millimeters here. And again, this is another essential, I would say, rule on, on our machine systems and the tools. We go in, we rather go faster with a less, or with, with less in feed. So we take a lighter chip, but just try to, to um, benefit from the acceleration of the machines and of the um, of the, the speed and the RPM of the machines. <coughs> then last but not least, after this, and if you, uh, if you joined the five axis session earlier this week, we have used, or we, we've made this part actually on the Tronion. And if you remember, we made these like mirror like surfaces. And we do the same thing uh, on the machine right now again. Yeah, stand still. So if we take a close look at this surface. There we go. And let's try to get this great on camera. So you see the clear difference between a surface that is milled by a, a regular end mill, which is this one, and a surface that is faced off with a monocrystalline diamond tool. And these tools are, uh, they have like a soldered um, flute and they are able to make a mirror-like surface. This comes right off the machine as it is here. So we go, we, we just take a very, very light cut. We go in 30 to 50 microns deep per pass. Very slow. And we can see it now. It's even hard to, to hard for the camera to focus on this, um, but we can just take the part out. See that it looks like yeah, that, that's a nice reflection of the of the machine in this surface.
All right, I think um, that's pretty much a good overview of different technologies. It's mostly yeah. single fluid cutters. Well, actually, we only use single fluid cutters here, just different types of. Um, so the tool technology is at least as important as the machine itself. So and the combination, I think, of like Datron, the technology of tools um, and the machine. So it is, just, yeah. It's unbeaten, right? Yes. All right. That was the last session of the Daytron Digital Experience Week. Um, it was a lot of fun for us to do it. Uh, I hope we, we were able to transfer a bit of, of knowledge and insights of, of Daytron uh, to all of you. Uh, I'm sure we're going we're gonna to make more videos, tutorials in the future. Uh, so thank you for joining in. If you got a feedback for us, we would uh, appreciate that. Um, thank you. Take care.